And is this a fairly heavy look for every day? Well, yeah. Um, it is. <laughs> Oh, did you guys want to come in? Well, okay. Hey, it's Erica. This morning I edited yesterday's video and then I went to the gym. I came home and showered and I'm going to put my makeup on. And I figured I will show you guys putting my makeup on because I haven't showed you before and I've gotten some requests to show my like everyday makeup routine. So I have nothing on right now, but I'll start with a primer. Today I'm going to use this Glossier. Um, it's a moisturizing primer. Oh, my chicken fingers need to be flipped over. One moment. In the winter, I tend to use a more moisturizing primer. In the summer, I tend to use one that feels something like a consistency of glue really keep your makeup on oh she's sweet but a psycho a little bit psycho so i try to use cruelty free makeup i am not perfect especially if i'm given something as a gift but i do try to stick to it i have a lot of tart and this is the tart amazonian clay 12 hour full coverage foundation in pretty freaking pale i don't know what it's called okay i'm also using the tarte amazonian clay concealer in light and i put it on a little brush i don't tend to do the like beauty guru like giant triangles of concealer thing not that i don't think it's you know genius but I've never figured out how to make it look not crazy on me. I'm like, when I'm putting my makeup on, my first priority is to not look completely crazy. Second priority, to look extremely beautiful. Then I'm gonna use the, the e.l.f. translucent powder. Get those under eyes first. I do have some poppin' under eye bags on the regular. And I used to stress about them and try to make them go away and now I just live with them as part of my face. Cause honestly, I see other people who have like popping under eye bags and I'll be like, oh, they look cute. Like, I don't hate their under eye bags. Like, I don't want to call anyone out by name in case like it's uh, something they're sensitive about, but there's like a couple like beauty vloggers, influencers and stuff. My mom was like, dang, those are some cute under eye bags. I know, I don't bake, I probably should. At night she's screaming, I'm on my mind, I'm on my mind. So I brush the brows up. And I am using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Shape and Fill because I ran out of whatever I had and this is what, the only thing I find at Walmart. Um, Cause I do like this like triangle tip thing and I like it in blonde. Yes, I know my eyebrows are not blonde. Um, it is the secret of my life that I was not born a natural blonde. <laughs> Pretend that you can't tell. We all are in agreement that I am a natural blonde, okay? Um, but yeah, so I like to fill my eyebrows without making them darker, basically. So they're somewhat shoddily filled in. And then I use the NYX Brow Mascara in Blonde. Blonde, what is my accent today? What is my accent? Okay, I'm gonna stop. Please stop. Erica, please stop. I just get them looking big and bushy. Boom, boom. I do nothing to my eyebrows. I don't tweeze them or wax them. I probably should, uh, but this is just how they grow and I don't know what to do about it. And I just go with the flow. All right, now I'm using the NYX Wonder Stick to do a little contouring. I do a little contouring on the regular. A little, not like an insane amount. I don't contour my forehead because it's kind of small anyway. And I don't contour my nose because it's too complicated to contour, honestly. I've tried, but this <laughs> aquiline Roman thing is just not contourable. I feel like a lot of people, if they have like a wide nose, they contour it and it looks pretty boss, but like I have like a skinny, weird nose, so. 
but the jawline definitely i mean how anyone lives without contouring their jawline i don't know just blend that bitch out uh, uh, uh. does it help is it in my head i don't know either way i'll take it and then the three steps to sculpt nyx contour palette i just go over it this is like poor man's contouring you know contouring for lazy bitches who don't have a good understanding of artistic light and shadow okay my chicken fingers are done i have to go get them out chocolate on my face or something next up some bronzer this is the laura geller new york bronzer Is this how one is supposed to bronze? I don't think so, but that's how I do it. Then I put some blush on. This is the Mali it's a peony. Ow, ooh, I pinched my little fingers. Blush and bronzer and stuff is something, I feel like I never know exactly where to put it because I feel like my cheeks are a, a weird shape. All right, and now I love that highlight life, of course. This is the Too Faced, Blinded by the Lights. Blinded by the light with a fan brush. For some reason, this highlighter does not work if you don't use a fan brush. Try to use anything else and you'll be like, wow, I paid $40 for a very pretty piece of plastic. And then you use a fan brush and you're like, what? <laughs> oh damn, never mind. I'm going, bitch. Eyeshadow, this is where it gets fun. So I use a lot of Bare Minerals individual eyeshadows, mostly because my aunt gave me like 50 of them and that was, I was like, cool. I'll use these then. So, I will start with like a light color. This is Soul. Just depends. I do some kind of light, tan, or white, or something. And I just put it all over my eye. I'm certainly far from a makeup expert, but I managed to put on a full face pretty quickly. So like, I do all my makeup in like 20 minutes. And, I'm putting a lot on and you know a lot of products and stuff and like not really a natural look in any way and I still manage to do it pretty fast so I think that's fucking groovy as hell. Now I tend to use two or three more colors. Here's this is I'm just gonna show you guys something I, I do a lot. Um so I'll use a dark brown and like a lighter brown. I look good in the tan family. So this one is called you can never be too rich brown. I am just going to start putting this in my crease. And listen, this is where you'll see that I am not an eyeshadow expert. I put a lot on, I blend it around, I panic, I don't know what I'm doing, and I just keep going. Okay. And yeah, I'll frequently just do both eyes at the same time. <laughs> this is not what the experts do. such dark looks like I always put uh, like lighter eyeshadow colors on oh it is quiet uh but like a couple months ago I just started doing like darker eyeshadow and then realized that I look sexier with it all right it's looking pretty good so yeah it's just like in the crease blend it up a little bit so it'll look good if my eyes are closed or open now I'll go in with the lighter color this is gilded taupe and I will just put that all over the lid and I'll blend it into the darker color in the crease. Yep, that was fast. Now you get to see what I do. It makes me really special. Well, I spend 10 minutes looking for the makeup brush that I need. That's pretty normal. I know everyone and their mom does liquid eyeliner and I used to do liquid eyeliner for a long time um but then honestly when i started getting my lash extensions i realized i was not as good at putting liquid eyeliner on with my lash extensions yeah and then i just kind of just started trying a different look so now what i tend to do i mean i still use liquid eyeliner sometimes but a lot of times i just use eyeshadow with a slanted brush as eyeliner so i still have my you can never be too rich brown rich dark brown color um, first I'm gonna put it under my eyes. Yeah, I try to get that like next to my lash line without 
being like totally inside of my eyeballs. And then honestly, I just smooth it out so it gets a little smaller and less crazy looking. And now for the top, I usually use black. I'll just use this black from the IT Superhero palette. And then I try to get really close to my lash line. Kind of just like press the brush on the eyeshadow. And then, okay, so I use the angle of the brush to kind of flick the eyeliner up in the corners. Just kind of press it and pull down. And then the, the secret to a flick of eyeliner is it really needs to be more of a triangle shape. So try to fill in that. Okay, that eye is basically done. Now I attempt to Attempt to replicate it on this one. The good thing is, since this is all eyeshadow, nothing is actually liquid or eyeliner or even pencil. Everything is just smudgy and blendable, so it's very forgiving. It's easy to put on more. If you did too much, you can take your lighter color, put it back over. I'll brush through my lash extensions. If I didn't have lash extensions, I would put on fake lashes but you could just put on mascara if that's what you want. And is this a fairly heavy look for every day? Well, yeah, um, it is. <laughs> but you guys asked how I put my makeup on and this is how I've been doing it lately. Put a little mascara on the bottom lashes. Just need to spray it. I've been using this Hard Candy Long Wear. And then some kind of lip color. Uh, I like to mix it up and then I usually regret it because I really look my best in like dusty pinks. A personal classic is the NYX Powder Puff Lippy in Squad Goals. And that is how I do my everyday makeup look. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope this was easy to follow along with. If you found the video just because you're looking for makeup looks, well, I'm gonna continue my vlog from here. So, you know, you should hang out, make some friends specifically me, but also maybe somebody else. You know, I don't know. But be part of the, uh, the squad goals. Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. We just live streamed. It was so fun. It was so much fun. Mm -hmm. We haven't live streamed in a few weeks. Um, cause I it's just- I keep out of town, like I'm stupid yeah. bitch. <laughs> well, she keeps me out of town on Mondays and that's mm -hmm. just been unfortunate, but we're back. Oh, I gotta put a jacket on. It's cold. It's chilly. Mm. Um, but yeah, it was so much fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go put that jacket on so we can film some TikToks. Okay. Tonight was amazing. We live streamed. So Frida and I do a Monday night live stream at 7 p.m. at 7 p.m. Pacific time on Erica and Frida. <laughs> YouTube.com slash Erica and Frida every Monday. But we haven't been able to do it very much lately because I've constantly been out of town for like two fucking months. And so yeah, we got back to it tonight and it was just so nice. It was so nice to like hang out with you guys who are my favorite fucking people. And also, you know, it was unbelievably nerve wracking <laughs> breaking up when you have a couples channel because it's like, oh, I've worked so hard on this channel for three years and it's my favorite thing in the world and this is gonna destroy it. And it was so nice to live stream tonight and see that like, no, it's the same. We still have the same connection with you guys and it's all good. Yeah, just like the core of the channel are like core fans love and support us no matter what. That just means so much to me. And uh, yeah, so it just felt good. And it just felt good to like talk to you guys and be with you guys again. And um, yeah, so loved tonight, loved that for us. And now I need to edit because I'm going to the dentist tomorrow. So I won't have time to edit in the morning. I'm very excited to go to the dentist because I haven't been in a while. Mm, yeah, so I'm gonna edit right now. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you liked it. I hope that you liked the, the makeup tutorial. That was a request. I am gonna like put in some more stuff like that on occasion. Um, yeah, but that'll also kind of depend on if y'all like it. So, you know, hit me up, tell me what you think.
Everything is pink right now. I'm very pink. Pink, pink, pink. Pink, 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 baby. Okay. I love you. Subscribe, please. Please subscribe. I would appreciate it if you would subscribe. Okay, bye.